In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily steal car grading from an image using Photoshop. And if at all you find this video will helpful, don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend and push this and also suggest it to more people out there. So make sure that you hit the like button before or even as we proceed with this tutorial. So we want to steal the color grading from this image that is taken by Know the Law and already retouched and color graded this image. So I want to steal the color grading from this image and apply it to this very image using Photoshop. So the very first thing you have to do, you have to first of all drag this image and place it on top of the image you want to color grade. So I'm just going to come to the location where my image has been saved and is right here. I'm just going to simply drag and drop it to Photoshop on top of this image. So just drag and drop it right there. And that is what we have. So you can drag the edges just like that so that it cannot cover the overall image that we want to color grade. And after doing that, just come and hit enter on the keyboard to place the image right in that position. And as you can see, when we place this image right here, it made this as a smart object. So we don't want it to be as a smart object because when you're trying to copy colors from here, it is going to be creating those various layers beneath uh, this very layer. So I don't want it to work as a smart object. So just come right here and simply right click on this layer and you scroll all the way down to rasterize layer. So just do that and you can see that the icon for a smart object has been gotten rid of from this layer. And after doing that, just come to the background layer and make sure you select it. Then come to your adjustments and you create a curves adjustment layer. So it is this curves adjustment layer that we're going to be using to apply the color grading and copying it from this very image to this image right here. So make sure you create a curves adjustment layer and place it between your original image and the image you want to copy the color grading from. So after doing that, you have to come now and make sure you select the image that you want to steal the color grading from and simply come and get your lasso tool. So when you get the lasso tool, make sure you use a feather of zero pixels because we want it to be precise and very accurate. And after doing that, getting your lasso tool, make sure it is in new selection mode right here. And now you have to zoom into the image right here from which you want to steal the color grading. So you want first of all sample the highlights, midtones, and shadows. So we're going to either be using the highlights and midtones or the highlights and the shadows or the three of them and we copy the colors from this image. So you're just going to get an average of, for example, the highlights. So make sure you select on the highlights of this image. And after selecting the highlights, you can see it has made the selection. So just want to get an average color of the highlights in this image. So Make sure you select it, then you come to right here to filter, blur, and you come to average, and you can see it creates an average of that color right there. So you're now going to come and you're going to select the midtones of this image. So I'm just going to come and select the midtones, then come back to filter, and I'm going to click on average, and you can see it has made all average out the colors right there. And you can as well come to the darker areas. For example this area and you create an average of that color and you can see it has done a pretty nice job so after doing all this you're just going to come right here to the eyedropper tool so you're just going to come and get the eyedropper tool and make sure the sample size is five by five or three by three so for this case i'm just going to be using five by five and after doing that you're just going to zoom out slightly by using ctrl or command minus and now come to this icon make sure you don't select the layer mask come and double click on this curves adjustment layer icon so you can see that we have three points or three eyedropper tools right here so when this displays the highlight this is for emissions and this is for your shadows so what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply come to the first one which is the highlights and simply double click on it and you can see it brings for us this target highlight color picker tool and just want to 
sample the highlight color using the eyedropper tool. So what we did, we double clicked on the highlight eyedropper tool. So I'm just going to come to this image and we left click. And before we proceed, just come and make sure that you select this option right here, which is the icon. That's why it was not able to sample for us this targeted color. And just come back and double click. And right now you can see when we click on the highlight area, it samples that color right there. You can see it has sampled the highlight color and simply come and hit OK. So you are going to get this notification that says save the new target colors as default. So we don't want to save them. So just come and click on no. And we're just going to zoom out slightly. So we just want to click on the area that has a highlight in this image. So for this case, we're just going to simply left click right here and look for an area that has a highlight and so you have to keep on left clicking on different areas to enable or get a sample of that color and that is okay so we're just going to do the same for the midtone so just come here and double click and now come and look for where you selected the midtones and left click on the midtones and you can see it has sampled for us that color from the midtone area and simply come and hit ok and use no and you're going to use the same reference area and simply click on that color and you can see i'm just going to continue sampling from this color up to a point when i feel like i'm getting a better color or an image that looks closer to what we are trying to copy colors from so i'm just going to click randomly until i feel like i have a color match almost so i think this looks good and i'm going to stop right here because right now the images are looking alike but this is more contrasty than this very image so if i told you feel like the image is not yet really matching you can go ahead and also sample the darkest point or the black point and you apply it to your image that you want to color grade. So right now I'm okay and fine with this. I'm just going to come and I'm going to close uh, my curves adjustment layer. So you can see that this is what I'm just going to come and deactivate that or I'm just going to activate it and I'm going to come and add a little bit of contrast within the image. So I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to come to brightness and contrast and I'm just going to add a little bit more of contrast within the image and you can see right now they are now matching and looking alike in this case so this is an easy of how to steal or copy color grading from any image using photoshop and the curves adjustment layers so when you're done doing that let's just see the before and the after for the color grading process so this is the before after before after you can see how i like the images have turned out to look and this is it for today's tutorial and when you're done you can now come and delete this very image so this is all for today's tutorial and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronis from ronis photography thank you for watching i see you need more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating